Now then boys, in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve some textured fur using very, very small brush strokes because these is get actual tar. Now then folks, and welcome to this week's video where I'm going to show you how I've achieved a kind of fur-like effect on a lion thingy, majiggy, from Warcry. So again, these are techniques that I've ripped off from other folks. So Origin Paints did a really good tutorial which I've kind of manipulated into a tabletop standard thing. But it essentially boils down to using our paintbrush strokes to create a texture. In a very similar way to last week's video where we used stippling to create a bone uh, texture. This time we're using very small brush strokes to create a fur texture. So when we're doing this, there's one very important thing to remember, and that is to have very, very thin paint. Not quite at wash consistency, but it wants to be very thin, glaze-like. The thinner the better, because the thinner you have your paints, the more blended all the layers will become, and the better kind of fur texture you'll get. So in this, I'm trying to paint a lion-type creature. So I'm using a lot of kind of sandy browns, yeah, and sandy yellows. Something you're going to need for this tutorial is you're going to need a brush with a very fine point and a lot of patience. But enough jibber jabber. Let's go to the painting desk, which is a okay, which is a countertop. I wonder how many more times I can get away with making that joke. So the first thing we need to do is base the whole of the body in XV88, which is a crackingly named paint. Well done, Games Workshop. So it takes a couple of uh, coats to get this uh, miniature base coated. Once it is, we're ready to start applying our texture. And we can do this to create both shadow and highlight layers. We'll start off with the shadows, so we're going to progressively darken down the XV88, and we're going to darken it down to P3's Beast Hide. So first, we'll take a 50-50 mix of the two. And then all along the belly area and stomach section, anything under this kind of muscular ridge of the back, we're going to make that a more shadowy area. So that is going to be in our 50-50 mix. So we take our brush, make sure our paint is pretty thin, and we start making very small brush strokes all across that belly area. So just keep going and going. Try not to go over the top of each layer too much because eventually all you're doing is just painting in a very slow and methodical way. What you want to be doing is leaving gaps, leaving bits of the base coat showing so that you can create this kind of built up fur texture. So the next step is we're going to do pure beast hide and again it's going to be the same technique. We're going to go in making very small brush strokes with very thin paint and the an entire belly area once again. And you'll, as you add the colours, you'll start to see the texture starting to appear on the belly. And you'll be able to see the small brush strokes progressively getting you that kind of fur-like quality. Now we're going to move on to the highlight bits. That's going to be all along the back haunches, the elbow bits, the more bony areas of the front arms. And we're going to do it across the back as well. Our first highlight layer is going to be a 50-50 mix of not Zamzi dust. It's going to be a 50-50 mix of Zamsi dust. No, Zamsi desert. God damn, why are you getting too confused? 50-50 mix of Zamsi desert and our XV88. So we're going to do the same thing we did on the belly, but now we're going to do it on the back. And we're going to make all those small brush strokes again. Going down the back all across that ridge of the musculature just above the belly area and then down the haunches as well. Again, we don't want to coat this miniature in this colour. We want some of the base colour to be showing through. So continue to make very small brush strokes, but leaving gaps. Then our final layer is going to be pure Zamsi Desert. And it's the same technique again, but this time we're going over the same areas. Very small brush strokes. I hope you can see after all of that we've we've managed to get a decent looking fur quality to this lion miniature. 
So like I said at the beginning, you're going to need some patience for this, um, especially if you're going to do something really, really big, I don't recommend that. This took me about an hour and a half to achieve this effect, and it is more of a tabletop quality, it's not really a high class finish that you do on a competition miniature. So bear that in mind if you're ever going to take this, patience is required. I hope you found this video informative and you've enjoyed it. If you have, please interact with it by either giving it a thumbs up or a comment. I will reply to all the comments left on this video and by interacting with the video like this you will boost up Google's rankings and it gets more eyes on my content, which is ultimately what I want. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more cracking content that I've got coming up. So that's all for this week, catch you guys in the next one.